fstoppers.com teamed up with Joey Wright to create the ultimate tutorial on swimwear photography. This is the behind the scenes. To learn more about the full tutorial, head over to fstoppers.com slash store. Yo, welcome to the jungle, no ceilings, a lot of space around to hunt you, no feelings, I only grew up to be numb to, this can't be violence, New York is my island, a new definition is coming and this object to get rid of nonsense, this will be timeless, and time is of the essence, got wolves sniffing you out about every direction, got hawks eyeing you niggas, you gonna need protection, cats that roar if you're behaving ain't the best, friend. Number one, number one baby, number one. <laughs> this is what we have to deal with in the morning. Here we go again. Hi, Riley, come here. Hey. Yeah, I know your secret now. You just, I call you over. That night, we had a little get together at my house. <laughs> And then Joey got tired. Chelsea then did a live broadcast on Facebook, and we received a very common request. How's the ending go, Freebird? Walls of my house were literally shaking, and Joey did not wake up during the entire song. I know! He's about to get knocked out. Oh! Oh! He did it! I think I just won $10. Which makes it, it makes it even, all right. So I believe we have now finished the final section of post-production. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. I'm uh, getting a little sick of this little room here. All right, so we just finished up finally uh, post-production workflow, but Lee is taking a nap somewhere, so we want to let him know that we're done. Hey, Lee. <laughs> Lee. You napping? You had something in your nose. Yes, I did. I got it, though. You got it? Yeah, I got it. I think I got it. Um, just want to let you know that we're done. A little payback? We're done, yeah. We're done with post-production, so... That was a horrible way to wake up. Yeah, and we're ready to do that other little uh, mini tutorial. You need me? Yeah. Patrick will do it. No. Why do I have need to do you. it? I'm busy. <laughs> No sympathy for napping around here. Yeah, just spit him out to him, he'll spit it out to me, and I'll spit what it out. What are we doing though? Are we doing all of it? We're doing your story first? Just where no, we're not doing the story first because we have to reset up camera for that. Okay. Where do you want me to begin? Business production planning. Alright. My my alone intro is gonna be like Today we wrapped up filming every little detail and then it was time to celebrate. So we're heading to our final dinner. We've completed the tutorial. Oh, 
Every time we finish a big project, we take everyone to our favorite restaurant in Charleston, Hall's Chop House. We also buy the star of each of our tutorials, the largest steak on the menu, the tomahawk. We are getting you the biggest steak that they have here, and, and you said yeah. that you would finish it. But then we also ordered six sides, and then what else did you order? I ordered a salad, an old fashioned, and now a soup, and I had some bread. You still think you're gonna finish that steak? Absolutely. All right, 100%. All right, yep, perfect. Well, I ate all my sides. All the bread, I'm all the sides. 30% through the steak itself. <laughs> Lee? That's like a new <laughs> yes. right How many people ever finish this? Nobody. Interesting. Nobody. Joey, do you need to quit now? No. Are you out of your mind? As a woman, does this attract no, you to a man? Not. or? It's so ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Only someone who is stupid would do this. <laughs> Excuse me, Chelsea. What is the danger of like overeating? Um, Obesity. This is the new standard. Anyone watching this, I know. All if you ever work with us, this is what you'll have to do. Did, is that officially finished? That's done. <laughs> a lovely new hair. What's what's on the dessert menu? So we did the math on Joey's meal tonight, and we believe that he consumed over 4,000 calories easily. I'm super top heavy right now. I'm like a lollipop, <laughs> okay? I'm all top heavy like, Lead a, baby. The way. like a baby with a big drooling. old head. <laughs> You're drooling, Joey. Shooting swimwear uh, photography, it's one of those things that, you know, when I was like a young kid and you're watching Sports Illustrated swimsuit on TV or whatever, you just think that that, it's like winning the lottery. You don't actually think that you'll get to do that. Maybe a month and a half ago, we were still talking about locations. And at that point, I thought, there's no way they're gonna make this happen for January. There's no way. I think I was like, thinking more realistically like they're like we're gonna film an entire tutorial in 10 days. He actually reached out to me about a week before this whole project and was like hey I know this sounds pretty crazy but would you want to come to Curacao to shoot a tutorial? And I'm like wait like what's Curacao? <laughs> I'm worn out. I feel tired because we've been filming for 10 days like for 10-12 hours a day but I also feel this huge level of fulfillment You're like man we we worked so hard and we also had so much fun doing it man I have so many highlights um probably girl talk with Joey and Mella girl time with Joey's one of my highlights <laughs> this is what we should do just us girls what <laughs> um, tonight we sit around we eat bonbons and we talk about how stupid men are I agree, let's do it! Right. I actually am not like that. I just perk up when I get girl time with Joey. He just brings it out. I think one of the biggest surprises was how much we actually got done. <laughs> we hit every point that Joey wanted to teach. This is the first production we have done where we allowed a lot of other people to come in and be a part of like a team. Yeah, I think we met a really good crew here. This was a really cool experience. It turned out to be, I think, like a lot cooler than I thought it would be. <laughs> I mean, this was definitely going to be 
probably one of the more memorable trips of my life. Dude, this whole trip was from beginning to end on on point. Not just being like on a beautiful island, shooting in these amazing places, it's also just been like so amazing to work with such incredible people. I, I think this group, if I ever run into anyone uh, again, I will immediately reconnect, have fun, we'll have great conversations, great memories. I love every single person that is on this crew. Everyone is just so sweet and caring and we all watch out for each other and we made our own little family here. I think we work well together. I think we should do it again. <laughs> <laughs> like th this trip is so much better than if we had just come and stayed in this exact same house and just relaxed the whole time. If, if I could have just slept in every single day and then just like laid by the pool, it would have been okay. But the fact that like we were making ourselves wake up early and we were, you know, getting stressed out at times, it all pays off in the end. And today, now that it's all over, I just feel so good. Like, ah, yes, everything worked out perfectly. Everybody had a great time. I don't think anything could have gone any better. I'm super stoked to see the, the outcome of it. I'm also super stoked to see how this changes and transitions other photographers' work that I'll be seeing in the future. I'm really, really proud of the work that we've done. I can't wait to see it. Hopefully I'll be lucky enough to do something like this again. <laughs>like the last day of a vacation where you know there's a part of you that looks forward to getting home but you know the other side is like can't wait to do this again and that's such a cool thing to think that I can feel that way about my job